homemade blue bucket for less than 30 bucks. Here's a list of materials you're going to need. The rest you can improvise. All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a blue bucket from home for less than $30. Pretty simple. I got this little tin here at an antique store. It's perfect to create my vortex. I'm going to cut the center down. That way when the cyclone starts, it'll wash the lighter material down the center. I found this little bucket at Ace Hardware. It's going to sit right inside of it. Just fits perfect in there. I got this little tote from Walmart. I'm going to fit it down inside on one side, push it over. Got a submersible pump, drop my submersible pump in, hook my black hose and my valve that cost $1.98 at Walmart as well. Hook it up just like that, cut my line, and bam, we have a blue bucket. First to start, we're just gonna go ahead and drill our holes for our drain bucket and our catch. And how I like to do it is I set this down inside here and I can see that it sits about this far down in the bucket. So I'm going to want to make sure that my holes are below that line and when I run my water as well, it's below that line. I'm going to also make sure that I come up off the bottom of the bucket. That way, any material that comes down in here doesn't wash out as easily to the pump. That way we don't clog up our pump with material. So how we're going to start is I got a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to take this quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to mark off. I already see a line right here in the bucket, which you probably can't see on camera. And I'm going to start drilling my holes from here. And I'm going to do them about an inch apart. And I'm going to do three rows of them. Now I'm going to repeat this process all the way around the bucket. I want to make sure I have way more holes than the size of my tube for good drainage. Okay, so now we finished drilling our holes. You want to go on the inside and make sure you deburr all these pieces. That way they don't get inside your pump. Now we're going to do our blue buckets cone. And the way we're going to judge the height of our cone and where we're going to want to cut it at is pretty simple. What I did was I grabbed a pitcher of water and I'm going to go ahead and pour this pitcher of water in here until I get it to the line that I want that I know that my blue bucket's going to be running at. And that's about the level I want. So I know that I'm going to have to put my, cut my cone somewhere right about in here. I could go a little higher maybe. So I took a rubber band, a simple little rubber band, and I'm going to put it over the top of this like this. And now I'm going to walk it down until I get to my water line. Once I get it down to my water line, nice and even, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to mark it with the Sharpie. Okay, as you can see, we used the Sharpie, like I said, and I got my line. I cut the center out where I wanted it. Now we're starting to ship up over here. Looking pretty good. I know that my water's going to spin inside like this and go over my cone, so I want my water to come in at the same level if, at the top of my cone, if not in the middle. So that way when it creates the vortex and the cyclone, the lighter material goes over the top and I can adjust my flow that way. If I have to, I'll notch out the bucket. That way my line can go in. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get it done. Okay, so I got my hole punched into the side of the bucket, into the little tin. I siliconed it off really well so that way it doesn't leak. I also siliconed it off on the other side here. So that way it don't leak. I tagged it with a piece of wire so that way no strain happens on it. And you see how it comes off, sits inside there. I also got it hooked up to the pump. That way it'll pump the water, create this vortex, push the lights over the center. Now all I gotta do is let it sit and dry overnight. And by tomorrow we should be able to run some material through it. All right, now that it's running, I can see how the water's spinning in a circle here. I can adjust my flow with my control valve and you can see how it creates the vortex. I want to go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Now you can see how the water is spinning on the inside and it's just coming up over the top right here. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and go get me some material and we're gonna see what it looks like as it runs. Okay, so I got my blue bucket up to speed. As you can see, it's creating a nice cyclone and the lighter material is going up over the center. I already classified my material here. It's real, real fine. That way the it helps better run inside of this bucket if it's classified down well. And this separates the black sand really well. You can watch the lighter material go over the center. And if you don't like the speed that it's at, you can always turn it up. But I'm kind of liking it running a little slower. That way it can take its time and make sure I don't wash out any of my good material. Turn it up just a little bit more. Add a little more material. You can see how it starts to create this starfish effect and it's washing all the light material right over here to the center and it's coming off the inside. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a blue bucket at home for less than 30 bucks. Good gold hunting.